know what we've got to do in terms of education. We know that if we put a dollar into early childhood education, that we get seven dollars back in reduced delinquency rates and reduce costs in terms of incarceration for our young people. We know that, and yet we still have millions of children who should qualify for Head Start that we haven't gotten enrolled in Head Start. There is no reason why we can't pay for that. If we can spend $275 million a day in Iraq, we can't find a little bit of money to make sure that we're investing in Head Start right here in America. We know that the single most important factor in terms of education are our teachers. And yet our teachers continue to be underpaid, disrespected. There is no reason why we should not have an entire new movement to recruit and train and retrain a, an entire generation of new teachers. We've got to pay them more. And we've got to give them more flexibility in the classroom. And we've got to come up with assessment tools that actually measure progress in the classroom. Teachers are happy to be held accountable if they are given the respect and the money and the tools that they need in order to educate every child and not just some children. We know that we can deal with the energy crisis. There's no reason why we can't increase fuel efficiency standards on cars. There's, we have the technology right now. If we had 43 miles a gallon on every car in America, we would have to import zero oil from the Middle East. None. And if we had to import zero oil from the Middle East, Reverend, you know what would happen to our foreign policy. We might not be ending up sending hundreds of thousands of troops over the Middle East every time there is a problem. We know that in terms of our economy, we can boost the minimum wage, we can increase the earned income tax credit, we can lay down broadband lines, not just in downtown, but all across urban communities and in rural areas all across America, so that they have access to the internet. And we can make sure that our children are able to afford a college education, which is why the first bill I introduced when I got to the United States Senate was increasing the Pell Grant level so that every single one of our children can afford to go to college. Right now, 200,000 children don't go to college every year because they don't have the money to go. So the problem is not that we don't know how to solve our problems. The problem is, is that we have not set the right priorities. And the only way we're going to do that is to change our politics. And the only thing that is holding us back is that we don't have confidence that we can actually change things. No. 